safe within our souls to rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid, and fill the hearts which thou hast made. To thee, the Comforter, we cry, to thee, the gift of God most high, the fount of life, the fire of love, the soul's anointing from above. The sevenfold gifts of grace are thine, O finger of the hand divine, true promise of the Father thou, who does the tongue for his speech endow. Thy light to every thought impart, and shed thy love in every heart. The weakness of our mortal state With deathless might invigorate. Drive far away our wily foe, And thine abiding peace bestow. If thou be our protecting guide, No evil can our steps be tied. Make thou to us the Father known, teach us the eternal Son to own, and thee whose name we ever bless, of both the Spirit to confess. Praise we the Father and the Son, and Holy Ghost with them one, and may the Son on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow. Amen. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be made, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Ghost, that we may perfectly love and worthily magnify thee. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness, Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people, O deliver me from deceitful and wicked man. For thou art the God of my strength, why hast thou put me from thee, and why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresseth me? O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me and bring me into thy holy hill and to thy dwelling, and that I may go unto the altar of God, even to the God of my joy and gladness, and upon the harp will I give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy on my soul, and why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, which is the help of my countenance and to my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go into the altar of God, even as the God of my joy and gladness. Lord, have mercy.
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Confess unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endureth for ever. I confess to God, to blessed Mary, to all the saints, and to you, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed through my fault. I pray, Holy Mary, all the saints of God, and you to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy upon thee, and forgive thee all thy sins. Deliver thee from all evil, preserve and strengthen thee in goodness, and bring thee to it to everlasting life. Amen. I confess to God, to blessed Mary, to all the saints, and to thee, Father, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed through my fault. I pray, Holy Mary, all the saints of God, and thee, Father, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, and forgive you all your sins, deliver you from all evil, preserve and strengthen you in goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins. Time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from this time forth and now and for evermore. Thou shalt purge me, O Lord, with this herb, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. Thou shalt purge me. O Lord, with his up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. According to thy greatness of thy, of thy multitude of thy mercies, do I make mine offences. Thou shalt purge me, O Lord, with this up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Graciously hear us, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, everlasting God, and vouchsafe to send thy holy angel from heaven, to guard and cherish, to protect and visit, and to defend all who dwell in this thy holy habitation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord, may this incense be blessed by him in his own it shall be burned. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
keepest thou. Arise and reject us not before the end. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, dost thou forget our poverty and affliction? For our belly cleaveth unto the ground. Arise, O the Lord, help us and deliver us. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have told us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Applaud, why sleepest thou? Arise and reject us not before the end. Wherefore hidest thou thy face? Dost thou forget our poverty and affliction? For our belly cleaveth unto the ground. Arise, O Lord, help us and deliver us. O God, we have heard with our fears, and our fathers have told us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and in a peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. Hmm. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who sees that we put not our trust in anything that we do, mercy we grant that by the protection of the teacher or the Gentiles, we may be defended against all adversity. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A lesson from the second epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, ye suffer fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise. For ye suffer if a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take of you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face. I speak as concerning reproach, as though we had been weak, howbeit wherein soever any is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. 
in labours more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths oft. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep, in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fat things often, in cold and nakedness, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? If I must needs glory, I will glory the things which concern mine infirmities. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed for evermore, knoweth that I lie not. It is not expedient for me to doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about fourteen years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth such an one caught up on the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth, how that he was caught up into paradise, and heard unspeakable words, which is it not lawful for a man to utter? Of such as one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me, and lest, and lest I should be exalted above measure, though the abundance of the revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I sought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And said, he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon thee. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks be to God. And let them know that thy name is the Lord, thou only at the most high over all the earth. O my God, make them like unto a wheel, as stubble before the face of the world. Lord be blessed, Lord be in my heart and mind, that I may have preached the Holy Gospel of God, and in the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
the Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, the continuation of the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon it was, as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it. And other fell on good, good ground, and sprang up and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear, that cometh the devil, then cometh the devil, and take away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe, and he and be saved. <coughs> <coughs> they on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And they tr that which fall among thorns are they which, when they are third, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Through the words of the Gospel may our sins be blotted out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Brothers and sisters, three Sundays before Lent, as I said last week, Septuagesima, Sexagesima, and Quinquagesima constitute a time of preparation. The scripture lessons appointed for these Sundays have the purpose of preparing our minds and hearts for the spiritual undertaking which lies before us, the season of Lent, our spiritual pilgrimage our spiritual journey with Jesus to Jerusalem. Thus on the first of the Sunday Septuagesima, the lessons impress upon us the urgency of our task. We are like athletes, say St. Paul, striving for a prize, the incorruptible crown of life eternal. And like athletes, he says, we must discipline our lives and concentrate our powers not as fighters who beat aimlessly against the air. The Gospel lesson for that Sunday likens us to our workers in a vineyard. Some are called early to work, some are called late, even some at the last, eleventh hour. But all labours for the one everlasting reward which God gives freely of his own goodness to those he calls. Why stand ye here all the day idle? This is the message of Septuagesima. Now is the accepted time, now is the day of salvation. Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, then that shall ye receive. It is an urgent summons to every one of us, a summons to strive earnestly to overcome the lethargy of spirit which impedes us, to undertake the zeal, with zeal, the labour of spiritual awakening and enlightenment, why stand ye here all the day idle? Great is that challenge, and great is the reward. Now, today's lesson instructs us further in the meaning of this understanding and this undertaking. In the first lesson, 
The first epistle of St. Paul speaks of those perils which impede us and distract us from our goal. Not just external things, not just weariness and painfulness, but besides those things which are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Not just external circumstances, but our legitimate cares and duties, our own inner weaknesses. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? It's, it is not easy for any one of us, but the trials and infirmities are to be embraced as the very stuff of glory. If I, need, if I must needs glory, says St Paul, I will glory in the things which concern my infirmities. My infirmity this morning, beginning the glory in excelsis Deo. Um, uh, this is a, a time of preparation, the, the three Sundays before Lent begins, and as such we do not, we do not re re recite and sing the Gloria in excelsis Deo. My, my humble uh, apologies for this. Um, I will glory in the things which concern my infirmities, said St Paul. The Gospel lesson for today explains all this further by way of one of Jesus' parables, a story which uses visible and tangible familiar things symbolically to draw our minds to consider spiritual truths. In today's story, God is himself the sower, who spreads far and wide the seed, which is his word, by the wayside, on the rocks and among thorns, as well as on the ploughed field. <coughs> his word goes forth freely and generously into all the world, to the Jews and to the Gentiles, to me and to you. He is manifest to the shepherds and the wise men. His word is everywhere proclaimed. The good seed is broadcast everywhere. Some fall upon the wayside, the hard and broken ground, trodden on by the feet of all who pass by. So the word of God is preached to hardened souls whose sterile and unyielding minds and hearts will not open to receive a divine or sacred word, whose wills are stubbornly committed to all the demons, all the fads and fancies, all the manifold preoccupations of the present age. Some seeds fall on the rocky ground, where it finds no root, and quickly withers. Those are th these are those who hear the word and receive it superficially, but will not give its roots of understanding and commitment, and there cannot persevere through difficulties. Still other seed falls among thorns, which Jesus tells us are the cares and riches and pleasures of this life, which can choke and suffocate the spirit's life within us. The tender plants need space in which to grow. The word of God cannot thrive as just one concern among others, but must be cultivated and tended as a central focus of our lives. And so we are called to make good the soil on our own souls, of our own souls, to cultivate, cultivate the word of God within us, with understanding and devotion. Deeply, and not just superficially, to practice our religion with steadfastness of purpose, and thus to bring forth fruit with patience. Renewed attentiveness to the word of God, renewed commitment to the practice of religion, to prayer and works of charity. That is a challenge of today's scriptures. <clears throat> and that is precisely the challenge of the Lenten season for which these lessons are intended to prepare us. Next Sunday's lessons will complete the prescription, reminding us that <coughs> all our strivings, reminding us that all our strivings, all our struggles without charity and nothing worth, and setting us before us a charity of Christ as he sets out for Jerusalem to die and rise again. But just now for this week, the emphasis is on the conflict and the perils that beset our spiritual quest. And I think that seems a particular timely consideration to many of us in, in the church and without these days. Each year at this season, we keep the feast of the purification of St. Mary, Our Lady, the present, presentation of Christ in the temple, sometimes called Candlemas. The festival we celebrated was just over two weeks ago, 
that there are echoes of it in today's liturgy, and that message of the festival may serve to reintroduce and reinforce the message of today's lessons. At Candlemas we celebrate Our Lady's presentation of the infant Christ in the Temple of Jerusalem. According to the ceremonies prescribed in ancient Jewish law, Jesus is hailed by the aged Simeon as the light of all the world, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Our Holy Mother Mary, who is a symbol of the Church, presents the infant Christ, the eternal Word of God, in the temple of our souls. Those temples are to be sanctuaries of his presence, the altars of offering and sacrifice, in spirit and in truth. Here in this most holy sacrament, Christ the Word of God is presented in the temples of our souls. The seed of God's Word is planted there, in honest and good hearts. May we keep that word, cherish and cultivate that word, and bring forth fruit with patience. As a great hymn from the Feast of the Purification puts it, O light of all the world, thy children wait for thee. Come to thy temples here, that we from sin set free. Restore before thy Father's face, may all presented be. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us. Under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was very ill. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Hold up that my goings in my paths, that my footsteps slip not. Incline thine 
Incline thine ear to me, and hearken unto my words. Make thy mercies marvelous, the heart of the Savior of them which put their trust in thee. Receive our Holy Trinity, the revelation which I have in my sin, offer in thine own address, and merit in all thy sins. For my sins and offenses, the salvation of the living and the repose of all the faithful departed. Name the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Let this new sacrifice be acceptable to Almighty God. the intersections of both Michael the Archangel, standing at the right hand of the altar of incense and of all his elect, may the Lord God share to bless this incense and receive it for sweet smelling Savior through Christ our Lord. May this incense which thou hast blessed ascend unto thee, O Lord, and may thy mercy descend upon us. Let my brother be set forth in my sight of the incense. Pray, Lord, be set forth in my sight of the incense. Pray, Lord, be set forth in my sight of the incense. Pray, Lord, be set forth in my sight of the incense. Let my prayer, Lord, be set forth in my sight as incense. Let my prayer, Lord, be set forth in my sight as the incense. My prayer will be set forth in my sight as the incense. My prayer will be set forth in my sight as the incense. Praise me, O Lord, from all pollution of mind and body, death and impurity, from the holy work of the Lord. Spirit of humility and with a contrite heart, let us be accepted of thee, O Lord, and let our sacrifice be such wise in thy sight. That we may be accepted of thee this day, and pray please thee, O Lord, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Pray, brethren and sisters, for me, that my and your sacrifice may alike be accepted by the Lord our God. The grace of the Holy Ghost, to live in my heart and lips, and the Lord graciously accept the sacrifice of praise of my hands for our sins and offences.
be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, just, and for our salvation that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who with thy only begotten Son and the Holy Ghost art one God, art one Lord, not one only person, but three persons in one substance. For that which we believe of thy glory, which thou hast revealed, the same do we believe of thy Son, and of the Holy Ghost without difference or inequality, that in the confession of a true and everlasting Godhead, both distinction in the persons and unity in being and equality, in majesty be worshipped which angels and archangels praise, cherubim also and seraphim, who cease not to cry with one voice, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Be therefore most merciful Father through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, we most humbly pray and entreat to accept and bless these gifts, these presents, this holy immaculate sacrifice, which we offer to thee in the first place in behalf of thy holy Catholic Church, to which do thou deign to give peace to God, to unite to govern it throughout the whole world, together with thy servants, Kirill, Patriarch of the East, Bartholomew, Patriarch of the East, Francis, Patriarch of the West, Damien, our Bishop, Elizabeth, our Queen, all the Orthodox and maintainers of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, thy servants and thy handmaidens. And all here present, whose faith is approved and whose devotion is known to thee, in whose behalf we offer unto thee, or engage in offering unto thee, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and for all pertaining to them, for the redemption of their souls and for the hope of their own salvation and security, and our paying their vows unto thee, the eternal living and true God, in communion with them, reverencing the memory in the first place of the glorious and ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, as also thy blessed apostles, martyrs, and Peter, and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Charles, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixus, Cornelius, Chris, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all thy saints, for whose sake and prayers grant that in all things we may be strengthened by the aid of thy protection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. This oblation, therefore, of our service and that of thy whole family, we beseech thee, O Lord, grant graciously to accept and dispose our days in thy peace, delivering us from eternal damnation, causing us to be numbered among the flock of thine elect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Which oblation we beseech thee, Almighty God, that thou wouldst vouchsafe in all respects to bless, approve, ratify, and make reasonable and acceptable, that it may become to us the body and the blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who on the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and adorable hands and lifting up his eyes to heaven unto thee his Father God Almighty 
gave thanks to thee, blessed, break, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. Likewise, after supper, taking also this most excellent chalice into his holy and adorable hands, and giving thanks to thee, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of it, for this is the cup of my blood of the new and everlasting testament, the mystery of faith which shall be shared for you and for many, for the remission of sin. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Also, o Lord, we thy servants, together with thy holy people, calling to mind the most blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord God, together with his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, offer to thy most excellent majesty of thy gifts and bounties a pure, a holy, a spotless sacrifice, the holy bread of eternal life and the cup of everlasting salvation upon which do thou vouchsafe to look with favourable and gracious countenance, and accept them as thou didst accept the gifts of thy righteous servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice of pure oblation which thy high priest Melchizedek offered to thee. We humbly entreat the Almighty God, command these things to be carried by the hands of thy holy angel to thy altar on high before the sight of thy divine majesty. That as many of us as shall be partaking at this altar receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son may be fulfilled with all grace and heavenly benediction through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, O Lord, the souls of thy servants and handmaidens. Who have gone before us with a sign of faith and sleep the sleep of peace. To them, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we pray thee grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, thy sinful servants who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, with all thy saints, into whose company not weighing our merits but pardoning our offences, we beseech thee to admit us through Christ our Lord, by whom, O Lord, thou ever createst us, sanctify us, quicken us, bless us, and bestow us upon all these good things. By him, and with him, and in him, is unto thee, God the Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honour and glory. 
Throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Admonished by saving precepts and directed by divine institution, we are bold to say, Our Father, with which our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech thee from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and Andrew, with all saints, graciously give peace in our time, that aided by the help of thy loving kindness, we may both be ever set free from our sins and secure from all disquietude. the same thy Son, Christ Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee liveth and reigneth in the unity of the Holy Ghost God, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and with thy Spirit. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Let this most holy union of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be to me in order to receive it health of mind and body, the saving preparation for worthy attaining to eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Everlasting God, grant me so worthily to receive this most holy body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that I may thereby receive forgiveness of all my sins, and be filled with thy Holy Ghost, and have thy peace. For thou only art God, and there is no other beside thee, whose kingdom and glorious dominion abideth forever, world without end. Amen. Peace be unto thee, unto the church of God, and with thy spirit. Our God, the Father, fount and source of all goodness, who moved by thy loving kindness, didst will thine only begotten, to descend for us to this lower world, and to take flesh, which I, unworthy, here hold in my hand. I worship thee, I glorify thee, I praise thee. the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who is God the Father, and the same Holy Ghost, live us in the God, world without end. Amen. Let not the sacrament of thy body and blood, O Lord Jesus Christ, which I will be it and worthy receive, be to me for judgment of condemnation, but by thy glory and goodness be profitable to the heart of thy body and soul. Amen. Hail forevermore, most holy flesh of Christ, to me before all and above all the highest source of joy, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, unto me a sinner, the way and the life. 
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail, forevermore, heaven and drink to me before all, and above all the highest source of joy. Lord and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, be unto me a perpetual healing and everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Sacred body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that the sacrament of our salvation, of which I am the sinner, have partaken, turn not to judgment nor condemnation according to my deserts, but be profitable to the preservation of my body and soul and everlasting life. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takest away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but only say the word, only and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament, I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though thou wert already there. I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
when you come into your kingdom. And I will go into the altar of God, even unto the God who giveth joy to my youth. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, he brings us into life. Bless the Lord, my soul. And bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul. He leads us into Fight the good fight with all thy might. Christ is thy strength and Christ thy right. Lay hold on life and it shall be thy joy and crown eternally. Run the straight race through God's good grace. Lift up thine eyes and seek his face. Life with its way before us lies. Christ is the path and Christ the prize. Cast care aside, lean on thy guide. His boundless mercy will provide. Trust and thy trusting soul shall prove. Christ is its life and Christ its love. Faint not, nor fear, his arms are near. He changeth not, and thou art dear. Only believe, and thou shalt see that Christ is all in all to thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Grant we humbly beseech thee, Almighty God, that those whom thou refreshest with thy sacrament may by a life well pleasing to thee, worthily serve thee. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Beauty and Performance of my family, Judy to be sent to be able to treat him, God with the acceptance which I have merited to thy mother within the sight of thy majesty. May be acceptable unto me and may to thy majesty obtain thy favor for myself. For thy mercy obtain favor for myself, nor do I submit to the heart I have offered it. Be of some rain as God will allow it.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light, that was a true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Lord, save thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, and hear us when we call upon thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray thy servant, our Queen Elizabeth, who by thy mercy has undertaken the government of this realm, may receive increase of all the virtues fit adornment for a Queen, enabling her to shun all foul temptations and to overcome her enemies and with the royal family be welcomed at the last by thee, who art the way, the truth, and the life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O almighty and merciful Father, who by the childbearing of blessed Mary, ever virgin, has revenged our ruin, and by the ministry of thy holy angels, dost ever succour and defend us. Keep, we beseech thee, our diocese under thy continual help and protection, that we Ever, mercy, ever needful of thy grace, may bring forth for thee the fruit of good works and the harvest of souls. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost. One God, world without end. Amen. Let us sing the song of the three children. O ye priests of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord. O ye holy and humble men of heart, bless ye the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, and Mizael, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son with the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. 
Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us sing the song of the three children, which they sang in the furnace of fire, and give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Our Father. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, and to be praised and exalted forever. The Holy Trinity bless and keep us. Amen. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, O Lord, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. Turn us, O Lord, God of hosts, show the light of thy countenance, and we shall behold. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who for the three children has quenched the flames of fire, mercifully grant that we, thy servants, may not be consumed by the flames of our sins. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindle in our ends and in our hearts, O Lord, the fire of the Holy Ghost, that we may serve thee with a chaste body and please thee with a pure heart. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prevent us, O Lord, we beseech thee in all our doings with thy favour, and further us with thy help, that all our works may be begun, continued, and ended in thee. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. <clears throat>